Just when you thought the numbers for Concord's launch couldn't get any worse, we get some information leaking the PlayStation sales stats. And it's not pretty. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT and shout out to Guru Larry, Larry Bundy Jr. who posted on Twitter information about players who have obtained the easiest trophy to get in the game, aka getting a kill will get you this trophy. And we can put two and two together and assume that most people who bought the game got a kill. And that amounts to around 1,200 people or so. Yikes. Smash JT. Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking down the downfall of Concord. And now up to this point, we haven't really explored PlayStation's numbers because they keep all that information private. But what isn't private are the PlayStation trophies. And putting some simple math together, we can assume that most people that are obtaining the easiest trophy of getting someone killed is equaling here or there about how many people have played the game. I guess you could say it's a low estimate, but honestly, it's not too far off. There is some serious, disastrous news hitting Concord right now. If you thought the game was struggling before, you have no idea just how bad it's gotten. Let's quickly break down the disaster of the launch up to this point. Now, as of recording this video, I'm taking this screenshot here, there are currently 100 and nine people playing on Steam. Worldwide, everywhere. A massively big AAA title from Sony and Firewalk Studios that supposedly spent upwards of, some rumors are putting it around 150 to, I've seen even 200 million dollars to put this game together. And on Steam, we have just over 100 people playing it not even two weeks after launch. Larry Bundy Jr. on Twitter posted, here you go, the number of people who have obtained the easiest trophy in Concord on PlayStation 5. Get a kill in the game. And then he qualifies it saying, well, a huge majority of the players could be bad, so they've never got a single kill in the game, but what are the chances? And then he thanks Billy Smith. And looking at the PlayStation Network Profiles website, it says that at this point, Based off of their information, there are 1,258 game owners, 941 recent players, 26% average completion, and 18,710 trophies earned. But looking at the actual tangible information to give us a good idea of the real players of this game and how many people have actually purchased it, turned it on, put it in, and played the game, we have 1,220 people as of right now getting the first takedown trophy, getting your first kill. Now that's just some quick, simple math based off of who we see playing and how many numbers are out there. But now information is coming from industry insiders and supposed industry analysts that are stating that Concord has sold around 25,000 copies on all platforms, which Okay, I guess I could maybe see that on like the most perfect of situations, but even looking at that number, based off of what I know and what I've seen, it seems like a very high, generous estimate. To break that down, that's guessing around 10,000 people on Steam and around 15,000 people for PlayStation. For a game that Sony hyped up and poured upwards of 150 to 200 million dollars into. And let's be honest, even those numbers might be generous. If only 1,220 players on PlayStation have gotten the first kill trophy, the actual number of people playing is probably way lower than that. No wonder players are reporting to be stuck in the waiting room, waiting for matches upwards of of eight minutes or more each time in between a match, which to be honest is pretty unacceptable. When you're playing an online hero shooter game, you don't want to just log in and just wait eight to 12 to 15 minutes in between matches. That's embarrassing. That cannot happen. So embarrassing to the point that I tweeted the other day saying that I wouldn't be surprised if Firewalk Studios had the order from Sony to start building AI bots and putting that into the game just like they had with Perfect Dark on the N64 where you could play local co-op with some AI together so you didn't have to have four buddies in the room and you could still play a multiplayer match. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they end up doing with Concord and that would be 
extremely embarrassing in this era of online gaming. Skeletronus said, they could fill the games with bots if only they hadn't pushed all the competent programmers that write AI out of the company with DIE stupidity. Every name in these credits is an unhirable liability to future projects. I've been saying for months now that Sony should have launched Concord as a free to play game, or at very least, have it included with the PlayStation Plus. And you know what? That might be the only way to salvage this sinking ship, but it's going to piss off a ton of people, well, not ton, a handful of people that already purchased the game already. Imagine spending $40 for this game just to find out a couple weeks later that Sony's like, oh, by the way, it's free now. While it wouldn't be the first time a game company had done that to its customers, Battleborn comes to mind, it is something that I talked about previously on how Sony should have seen the writing on the wall before they started charging money for it in the first place. There have been companies that have come and gone in the past that have made the same mistake, and people that know what goes on in the game industry and how it works and understands the competition would not make this mistake. I can't think of another game in recent years or maybe even in gaming history that crashed and burned quite as badly as Concord. And nobody's really surprised about it, or at least they shouldn't be. If you know anything about gaming and the industry leading up to this launch and me covering it, I was saying this was writing on the wall. It's going to flop hard. There was nothing that could save it. And even Firewalk Studios all the way up to launch was pretending la la la, you know, hands in your ears, just walking forward and blinders on, this is gonna be fine. And the reality hit them so hard in the face that they are still reeling right now. Tom Warren said, I don't think Concord isn't selling because of the $40 price point or weak marketing. It's pretty simple. It's not a good game, so nobody is buying it. Sea of Thieves is also $40 on PlayStation, but has reportedly sold over 1 million copies because it's matured into a great game. Where I would argue Sea of Thieves offered something a little bit different in a landscape of free-to-play games in hero shooters that Concord is competing with. It's not exactly an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, and even if you are to say it is, I've seen plenty of reviews out there promoting Concord, giving it at least a 7 out of 10, if not higher, where many are praising many of the game's aspects, saying we don't get why people aren't playing it. So where does Concord go from here? I mean, besides the trash barrel, I don't see a way that this is salvageable. Like, sure, they could make it free on PSN first and then eventually make it free for everyone, but ultimately, there are other games out there that are well more established and honestly just better games overall that people prefer to play, never mind the weird design choices that they made in the characters and the pronouns and obviously the agenda-pushing propaganda that the developers had, you know, the professor that wanted to make sure that everyone couldn't identify what gender these people were because this is the type of person that was making this game. It's not that surprising that this was the result. And as you knew said on Twitter, all that money sacrificed to the altar of DEI. What a disgrace. And I couldn't have said it better myself. It feels like all they're doing is taking this money from investors and lighting it on fire, chasing the latest trends from eight years ago, thinking that it's the golden goose that, oh, you just make a hero shooter and you just make all this money and that's how it works. There's no heart, there's no effort, there's no passion. There's no reason for the game to exist except trying to chase money. We could debate for years on if it's because Concord's a bad game or if it's because they decided to charge $40 for it, but the reality is the whole point of where it all began was how do we make the most money off of gamers? What's hot right now? What's a trendy genre of gaming? Oh, hero shooters. Activision Blizzard is making this Overwatch game and it seems to be getting all the rage. We should just copy that basically one for one and then just make these weirdo characters the protagonists of it and make it our own game from that. Instead of having an actual passion and desire for something new to bring to the video game industry. Having the game be born out of the love 
of an idea that you have that you want to see grow and prosper is always going to succeed better than just a quick corporate cash grab. And ultimately, that's why it failed. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. If you guys want more information, check out smashjt.com for the full article. If you appreciate what I'm doing, hit that join button. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. That was not the plan. Technically, it was a plan. It just wasn't the same plan that we started with. Smash it.